It's undeniable that in the game of outside, humans undeniably hold the top spot. The only players who ever challenged their dominant role was the Neanderthals. And because the human player base has held a top spot for so long, many data miners have looked deep within their code and found some hidden perks. And because it's currently Autism Month, I thought I would talk about the perk of Autism. Now in the game of Outside, when you're creating your character, you can add some unique perks to separate yourself from the rest of the crowd. Like how snake players sometimes have two heads. Sometimes humans spawn in with bad legs, giving them a severe debuff to their mobility. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. But other human mains have created items to help out their mobility, and even give a buff to their strength stat. Humans who have a perk that gives them a debuff to one of their stats, sometimes use it to buff one of their other stats. These players are referred to as handy capable. Most human players who have a perk that messes with their physical stats are often accepted by most human players. But human players who have a perk that affects their intelligence stats are often shunned by other human clans, such as autism, sociopathia, and depression. It should be noted that two humans with the same autism perks can be vastly different from one another. Top tiers like Bill Gates have the perk of autism, but some bottom tier human players also have the autism perk. Hmm. This makes me right. <laughs> now, there are several myths about the autism perk. One myth is that players do not spawn in with it, and it's actually caused by vaccinations. Now, the reason why some players believe this is vaccinations have mercury in them. But mercury, as far as I'm aware, is no longer used in vaccinations. And it's not the really bad mercury you often hear about. The other reasons why players believe this is shortly after vaccinations, players often show signs of the autism perk. But that's because players don't show signs of the autism perk until they're like three or four, and not when they first spawn in the game. There are other theories of how a player can gain the autism perk, but most of them lack any hard, concrete evidence. Sorry, but if you haven't started off with the autism perk, you're probably not going to get it. And if you do have the autism perk, there's currently no known way of getting rid of it. One way of definitely not getting rid of it is drinking bleach. Although in a way it will get rid of it, because drinking bleach will end your playthrough. Now there are ways of aligning your stats to make your autism perk seem almost invisible to everybody else, losing your diagnosis. But deep within your code, you'll always have it, no matter what. Now there are a ton, and I mean a ton, of myths about the autism perk. Whether people are talking about how it buffs you, or how it nerfs you. Pretty much anyone who does anything stupid on the internet is labeled an autist. It's pretty frustrating for human players when another human player with the same color code as them does something stupid, and they are blamed for it for having the same color palette as them. All right, white boy, let's... Come on, dog, tell everybody you voted for Trump. There's a lot of white people on yeah. this episode. I'm gonna put it out there like this. You're gonna be dead and we're gonna see vultures, because I'm tired of you and Iggy and Zelia f***ing up my culture. Oh. Shit, here we go! It's on! Race war! But for players with the autism perk, they are not only blamed for the actions of a player with the autism perk, but even for the actions of players without the autism perk. Hollywood has tried to combat this by showing people with the autism perk as being hyper-intelligent. And while there are a few hyper-intelligent people with the autism perk, most players with the autism perk have average to lower intelligence. Although the players with some of the highest intelligence stats often have the autism perk. Such as Albert Einstein, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Sir Isaac Newton, and many others. Players with the autism perk also don't have hyper hearing, hyper sight, or any increase to their senses. They're just slightly better at focusing in on stuff, and can be overly simulated easier than most players. So what are the real buffs and nerfs to having the autism perk? Well, the main buff to having the autism perk for most human players is that they're specialist instead of generalist. Now before anyone brings up Tier Zoo's video on which bear is best bear, where he brought up that generalist bears are better than specialist bears, keep in mind, the bear player base is quite different from the human player base. <laughs> and in the current meta, being a generalist human player isn't all that special. For human players, it's better to be a master at something than a jack of all trades. For human players with the autism perk, they can gain knowledge for a specific trait much faster than most human players can. Granted, sometimes they try to focus on things that are... I wash myself with a rag on a stick. 
useless for their survival, but many top-tier human players that I mentioned earlier with the autism perk have created things that not only help themselves, but has helped all of the human players in general. If you look up a human player who has invented a new type of item for other human players to use, chances are they have the autism perk. But autism players also have a lot of debuffs. Of course, the autism perk is a very broad spectrum, but I'm going to go over what a lot of them do have. Players with the autism perk get over simulated easier than most players, usually with things like loud sounds, ah! causing them to be more vulnerable to intimidation techniques. The overwhelming majority of players with the autism perk are less social than most human players, meaning that their clans are far smaller, kind of like the Neanderthals. In fact, some players believe that the Neanderthal code within the human DNA is what causes the autism perk. Players with the autism perk also have more stomach bacteria than most human players. This can be a good or bad thing, but it's a case-by-case -case basis. But almost all human players with the autism perk have a problem falling asleep and going AFK. My conclusion for the autism perk is it will make your playthrough much harder, but if you manage to build your character right, the achievements will be so much greater. Oh, and keep in mind, this is only a list for human players. Other players can also have the autism perk, such as rats and mice. But how it affects their playthrough is far different than how it affects the playthrough of human players. So to non-human players watching this video, I apologize. There's not enough research on non-human players with the autism perk. But before I end this video off, I would like to briefly talk about depression and sociopaths. Everyone knows the nurse of depression. Unlike players with the autism perk, they have trouble staying awake instead of falling asleep. They have low energy, and of course, thoughts about ending their playthrough early. After times of trauma, they naturally fall into feelings of intense depression. These cycles are natural and allow them to process their experiences in a healthy manner. When this state comes about without outside causes, that we classify it as clinical depression. However, there are a few buffs that depression can give you. Players with the depression perk often succeed at tasks that require intense analytical thinking. They outpace and outperform others in learning technical concepts. Players with the clinical depression perk also tend to have higher emotional intelligence, and this helps them negate complex game-ending thoughts more easily than neuron-typical players. Players with the depression perk, on average, have much lower libido, meaning that they can focus more on dealing with the other areas of their life. Whether this is a buff or a nerf is up to the player. Lastly, all of these enhancements to focus on analytical thinking makes players with the depression perk one of the best groups at performing cost-benefits analysis. If you know a player with the depression perk, ask them to tell you about yourself. Their insight may surprise even you. All in all, if there's one thing I want you players to take away from this video, is please invite players with the autism perk, depression perk, and even the sociopathia perk into your party. You might find that they're more useful than you once thought. Macho Man Tranny Savage, okay, Cut Hogan, and Stone Cold Steve Autism are some of the names the little Gavin fanboys are commenting to me. <sighs> My eyes have seen the glory of the cleansing of YouTube, debunking SJWs and feminazis too. We criticize reactionists in hopes they get the boot. Just the robot marches on.